And the 12-day key resolve joint military exercise by South Korea and the U.S. is coming to an end today, while the faux legal drill will continue. South Korea's Yonghap News Agency says the allies focused on preemptively deterring nuclear and missile threats by the DPRK. Both exercises began on March the 7th, with faux legal to end on April the 30th. And this year's exercises were the biggest of their kinds in terms of scale, having mobilized the largest ever number of troops and military equipment. Some 300,000 South Korean and over 17,000 U.S. military personnel are involved. And the U.S. has also deployed many advanced armaments, including nuclear-powered supercarrier USS John C. Stannis and uh, B-2 stealth bombers.